Are you stuck wondering whether you should be buying a B550 board or B450 or even X570 for your next build? Well, it's kind of complicated, so in this video I want to run you through the pros and cons of each and help you understand which board is right for you. But first, if you haven't already, consider subscribing for more videos like this one every Monday, Wednesday and Friday. Since B550 is the newest kid on the block, let's start with that one. B550 is AMD's latest chipset and offers limited PCI Gen 4 support, in theory PCIe bifurcation, although I'm yet to see that on an actual motherboard, and most of the boards that I've seen have incredibly beefy VRM setups. It also promises easy BIOS upgrades to support any Zen 3 architecture Ryzen CPUs, but doesn't currently support, at least officially, anything other than third gen Ryzen CPUs at this point. It also tends to cost around about double the price of its B450 counterparts. B450 on the other hand doesn't support PCIe Gen 4, has hit or miss VRM setups depending on the board you're looking at, and only some boards might get an irreversible BIOS upgrade to support Zen 3 architecture chips. With that said, it's also significantly cheaper than any B450 board and works with any Ryzen chip you want to drop in right now. X570 is a bit of a wild card here. It's technically the most advanced and most premium chipset available, offering full PCIe Gen 4 support, actual PCIe bifurcation, and generally pretty solid VRM setups, although there are, of course, a few exceptions. It also does tend to be about the same price, if not slightly more, than B450 versions too. These should see BIOS updates pretty quickly and pretty easily for any Zen 3 chips, although don't currently support any APUs, including the 32 and 3400G chips, uh, although do support normal second gen chips out of the box. So what does all of that mean? Well, if you're on a budget and you're looking for the best value for money right now, then you probably don't care about PCI Gen 4 support, and honestly, you probably shouldn't anyway, or PCI bifurcation, and so unless easy BIOS upgrades to support Zen 3 chips is a very strong issue with you, B450 is still the best place to head. There are some fantastic boards out there if you can still find them in stock, like the MSI B450 Tomahawk Max, or in my experience, the ASRock Steel Legend is also a great choice too. If you do want PCI Gen 4 supports and easy upgradability, then it's a bit more difficult. Technically speaking, B550 is the better option here since it's a newer and B technically slightly cheaper, although it does depend on the board you're looking at. For example, if you're looking at the MSI B550 Gaming Edge Wi-Fi, well that's currently listed for £195 on Overclock UK, but its X570 counterpart, which offers full PCIe Gen 4 support, that one is only £5 more. Now, that's not to say that those are equivalents, especially since most B450 or B550 boards, sorry, come with 2.5 gig Ethernet and Wi-Fi 6, which if you can make better use of that over full PCI Gen 4 supports, B550 is a better place to head. Realistically, I'm hoping that B550 boards come down in price to make them a bit easier to justify since they are technically the, the budget chipset. It's kind of hard to differentiate between X570 and B550 right now, so I understand if you're kind of torn between the two. So to recap, if you're looking for the best Vive money, B450 is still where to head. If you want PCI Gen 4 support and easy upgrades to Zen 3 chips, then B550 is probably the better place to head, depending on whether you want full PCI Gen 4 support or the generally better Wi-Fi and Ethernet options. But if you want a truly high-end board that, for example, might offer things like 10 gigabit Ethernet instead, then X570 is still your best bet. So with all of that said, I hope this video has been useful to you. If you've got any questions, including asking for recommendations of different boards, then feel free to leave those in the comments down below and myself and the awesome community that watches these videos will do our best to get back to you. You can also join our Discord server if you want to ask specific questions and hopefully get maybe faster responses. Uh, that's linked in the description down below and if you want to check out some of the boards that I've been talking about I'll leave some links. Those will be Amazon affiliate links to, that will take you to your local Amazon store uh, but those will be in the description down below. 
Otherwise, that is pretty much it. Like I said at the start, if you want to see more videos like this one, then check out that subscribe button. This is kind of a Tech Explained video, so I'll leave the Tech Explained playlist over in the end cards, and you can check out those, including things like the B550 Explained video and motherboard naming schemes, stuff like that. And otherwise, that is pretty much it. There are a load of other links you can check out in the description if you want to support the channel, stuff like merch or hoodies or t-shirts like this one, which is a lot of like cool stuff. But otherwise, that is pretty much it. Like I said, any questions, leave those in the comments down below and we'll see you all in the next video.